to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Testing eye movements. Testing eye movements is an important part of a neurological or eye examination. It assesses the function of the six extraocular muscles and the cranial nerves, three, four, and six. The ocular motor, the trochlea, and the abducens. In this video, we will learn how to test the eye movements. First, position the patient. This is done by asking the patient to sit facing you. Whilst holding their head steady, they should follow your finger with their eyes only and not move their head. For a basic assessment, you can ask the patient to just follow your finger. However, a more accurate way of assessing the eye muscles is to use a small light as the target. This ensures that you can see the reflection in the patient's eyes. Also, you'll be able to assess the eye reaction to direct light. A normal eye should constrict in response to bright light and dilate in response to dim light or darkness. In order to assess the extraocular muscle functions, you would ask the patient to look up, down, to the left, then up, down, to the right, and then up and down. These different positions have different names and they assess the different muscle functions. You need to assess both eyes in each position. Elevation. This is when you ask the patient to look directly up. This position assesses the functions of the superior rectus and inferior rectus muscles. Depression. This is when you ask the patient to look directly down. This position assesses the functions of the inferior rectus and the superior oblique. Dextroversion. This is when you ask the patient to look right. This position assesses the function of the right lateral rectus and left medial rectus. Dextro elevation. This is when you ask the patient to look up in the right position. This position assesses the function of the right superior rectus and left inferior oblique. Dextro depression. This is when you ask the patient to look down in the right position. This position assesses the function of the right inferior rectus and left superior oblique. Levoversion. This is when you ask the patient to look left. This position assesses the function of the left lateral rectus and right medial rectus. Levo elevation. This is when you ask the patient to look up in the left position. This position assesses the function of the left superior rectus and right inferior rectus. Levo depression. This is when you ask the patient to look down in the left position. This position assesses the function of the left inferior rectus and right superior oblique. The extraocular muscles contain yoke muscle pairs. A yoke movement refers to the coordinated action of a pair of muscles, one in each eye. These work together to produce conjugate eye movements in the same direction. So the yoke muscles are corresponding muscles in the left and right eyes to move the eyes together in the same direction. For example, when both eyes are looking to the right. 
This concept is based on Herring's law of equal innovation, which states that when a movement is performed by both eyes together, the yoke muscles receive equal neural input. Other things to check for when assessing eye movements are ptosis. This is also known as a drooping eyelid, double vision, also known as diplopia, and nystagmus. This is the jerky movement seen when a patient is looking in a certain direction. The last thing to assess is convergence. This consists of moving your finger or a picture target slowly towards the patient's nose. The patient's eyes should converge, this means they should move inwards, and the pupils should constrict, as this is part of the accommodation reflex. When assessing a patient's eye movements, it's important to note down everything on a vision chart. This includes the degree of movement or lack of movement. This is noted down in numerical categories. Any symptoms and other observations should also be noted down.